Hey Jackals, today we'll take a look how to export a video as an image sequence. But if you want to import image sequences, you can watch this video. Now let's get digital. So what you can notice is that this is an image, which is actually an image sequence. If I go to the media pool, this is the file and this is the video file. That I'll show you how to export. But when it comes to importing an image sequence, let me just show you how you can actually change the frame rate of the image. Now, if you have the image sequence on the timeline, this may not work all of the time. So if you want to speed it up by increasing the FPS, you'll have to put it once again onto the timeline. But if you slow it down, let's go with 16 FPS. This actually works kind of, but you have to extend the clip. And now you can see that it's really slow. And now if I speed it up, let's go with 120. As you can see, I have to put the clip back on, but now it's only long one second. But now let's export the video as an image sequence. This time it is a video, MP4. What we'll want to do is go into the delivery page change the format to TIFF, change the resolution, and you can also export the alpha, then add it to Q, and render it out. But in this case, the images will be big. As you can see, each image is 4 megabytes big, but you can open it in a TIFF format. And what we'll want to do is probably convert it to a PNG all of the images, so we want to have a batch converter. More on that later. And now let me show you another option. You can choose JPEG 2000. You'll want to change the codec to Kaduku IMF so that you can actually change the resolution because currently you cannot. Then you can change the resolution. In this case, I can use the vertical, which is a new feature in DaVinci Resolve 18.1. And this is the resolution that I have, which is built in. Otherwise, I would simply type in a custom resolution. So now this is done. I can also add it to Q and render it out. Now I again have a bunch of images, but this time the file that I got is .j2c. And it's a lot smaller, but you can't really open it, as you can see. So what do we do? Well, you can use Photoshop. You can convert the J2C files and ideally you would import all of them in one file. So you have a bunch of layers and then export all of those layers as PNGs. But you can also import a video. And how you can open a video is to go to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. This is the best option that you can use, but this may also take some time to load everything up. So find the video file and open it. So I'll leave this to default so the whole video gets imported. I'll click OK and then wait some time for this to get loaded into separate layers frame by frame. And now if you want to export all of these layers as images, you will simply go to File, Export, Layers to Files. I'll simply find the folder, which is this one, and I'll give it new. And I'll lower the quality so that this hopefully runs a bit faster. Otherwise, this also takes some time. Now you can leave the quality as is, or even give it higher, because lowering it to zero isn't any faster as what it was when I've done this test. And the file size is, in this case, twice as big as in this test. Once this is done, you can use the images as you see fit. Now Photoshop is one way how you can convert the J2C format to PNG in batch. You can also go online, type in something like convert J2C to PNG batch, and this should probably be the first hit. Now which one to use, I can't really say, but if you decide to use one of these, depending on the video size, you can use the T files as this is a trial version if you use the standard, but if you go all the way down, go to downloads and see the detailed comparison, you can see that this supports the TIFF format, 
which is what DaVinci Resolve also exports. And you can then convert TIFF to PNGs for free. And now that you have an image sequence, you can do anything that you want to them, like import them in DaVinci Resolve. And if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification icon so you know when my next video comes out. I'm Simon, and until next time, Jackals, keep it digital. Yeah. <laughs>